30 a.m you can participate in person or online live on facebook and youtube at bishop jack kamere let us start the day with powerful prayers and intercession lfm are you there and are young in age and young at heart then this one is for you every thursday at 5 p.m when young people gather this is a vibrant and exciting time for our youth to connect worship and grow together invite your friends and come ready for an energizing and uplifting experience. Our weekly prayer meeting takes place every Friday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It is a time to come together as a church family to pray and seek God's face. Let us uplift one another and experience the power of collective prayer. Wanadada hoye! Ladies, from the ages 20 and onward, next Sunday is the Ladies' Sunday, and they will be leading the service. It is going to be a special time of worship and ministry. Come and let us support the women of our church lead us in praise and this 10 a.m. includes at 12 p.m. Concurrently, we have services for the children and the teens, ensuring everyone in the family has a meaningful worship experience. Thank you for being part of our service today. May God's abundant blessings be upon you. We look forward to seeing you in our upcoming services and events. Goodbye, Kwaheri, Ovoa, Obidezen, Vale, Hamba, Kale. Till next time, Living Faith Ministries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. In this church, you know, we have people that view us from, um, uh, from all the, from France, from Germany, yeah. I don't know Latin, Latin, who speaks Latin? Latin and Zulu, South Africa. So that is where, uh, yeah. Please, Suni, appreciate that. Can Google these words? Wonderful. At this time, as you know that it is our children's Sunday, I want us to have some ministration from the children, our very own kids. Ak, let's appreciate them as they come. Kids, Zach, this is your time. They are going to have some songs, uh, illustrated songs for us. And please appreciate your children and uh, nieces and nephews. Thank you, children. We'll start with one way. And then, Jesus, you're my superhero. And then, uh, tell the world. And then, nothing is impossible. Thank you. That's the bigger children, the smaller children.
we are going to give our visiting team a moment that uh, they shall come and present and then we come back. Please let's appreciate our children. So we have a visiting team from a children's home known as Nema Children's Home. And to invite them, to invite them, I'm going to call Pastor Anne. She's going to, yes, she's their director. She's the director of the children's home. Please let's appreciate her. I know many of us know her by another name. <laughs> One boy, so she's going to invite her team. Thank you very much. God is good, church. Let's appreciate these babies. <laughs> Mom, I was tempted to come and join. Yes, for those who don't know me, my name is Anne Wamboy Waboywa Shiana. Sindio, for those who are there 2022. I said thank you for your love, thank you for your support, and we are told that uh, let us continue doing what God has called us to do. Today I have my babies, my babies from Naema GBV Rescue Center, it's a rescue center where we rescue children who are molested, where their parents are mentor, and those who are orphans. But what we say is that don't judge us with the past. The past is gone because our God is greater. Praise God. Uh, we are located at Skuta, a place called Kagayo. Thank you, Anne. She's our partner, our supporter. She gave us our first beddings. And God bless you abundantly. Uh, that is where we are, we are settled with these children. We are 24 in numbers. One is pursuing uh, health care in uh, Outpan College by God grace. By God grace. I say by God grace. We have the other one in Gatuge Girls. We have another one in Mugoiri Girls, Kehada, Morogoro, um, Grace and Wheat School, Madaidi Girls, and the rest are in primary school. And our, one, our youngest is, we call him Baby Joseph because we don't know his name. We said we have brought that baby when he was four months, Akafungiwa Kwa Nyumba, for nine days. Ask your neighbor, Ume fast for nine days. Have you ever fasted for nine days? No food, no water. Only the two fingers. That is what he knew. Tell your neighbor that is God in heaven. And what God has said that will come to pass in your life must come to pass. Despite anything that comes on your way. Please God. Our baby was very sick. Mesiakua sick. Mother's nose. Temperature in a panda unatukua kia tuenye kokaribu naenda hospital. But we know there is God in heaven. That baby was just four months, nine days without food. Spinal cord had an issue. The mother has fed this baby with Piriton. To end the hospital, Piriton do a Maji operation. But what I know, these are miracle babies. And when I look at this baby, I say, God, indeed, you're in these children, you're in this ministry. Do what God has called you to do with love, with passion, because you'll be asked a question. And Continue supporting us. My mommy here, continue praying for us because that is what you have been called to do. Mimi na semanga, it's not one man show to raise these children, but God is faithful. God is faithful. Don't judge us because we are children home. As we say, we are Naema family because our God is great. I don't want to take me more time. I want to welcome them. I love this baby into pieces. Karibu Nisana. You want the mic? Mbali tumetoka Na mahali tumefika Ndiyo mana ninatambua Kwamba wewe ni mungu Sio kwa uwezo wangu Ilani kwa uwezo wako Mahali tumefika baba Tuwacha nukashiku Ewe wana umenisaidia Nifike mahali nimefika Ndiyo mana ninatambua Kwa mba wewe ni yebe Sio kwa uwezo wangu Ilani kwa uwezo wako 
to see children broken before God. Please appreciate them one more time as the LFM kids Zach, now ready to come and do their scripture memory. Let's go up. chapter 16 verse 31 and it says believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Thank you. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 it says children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Philippians chapter 2 verse 14 it, it says, says do everything without complaining or arguing. Thank you. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5, it, it says, Every word of God proves true. Romans chapter 3 verse 23, it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Thank you. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, it says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Thank you. Psalms chapter 62, verse 2, it says, He alone is my rock and salvation. Thank you. Psalms chapter 139 verse 14, it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you. Psalms chapter 34 verse 13, it says, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Thank you. Mark chapter, 18, Mark chapter 18, verse 30, it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, Pray without ceasing. Thank you. Thank you. Let's appreciate our children. That was the alphabet scriptures from A all the way to P. Now let's appreciate our little lambs as they come. Little lambs, little lambs, little lambs. Please appreciate them, parents.
These are the little lambs and they have a memory verse. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, it says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be open at you. Thank you. Thank you, little lambs. Thank you. Uh, going on to our last two presentations, Christy has a memory verse. Psalms chapter 91, verse 1 to 4, it says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fullness, fullness near and from deadly pestilence. He's, he will cover you with his feathers and under his, wing, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. And uh, finally we have uh, Margaret Nasambu who is going to sing for us. She's a psalmist in uh, training. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Margaret Nasambu and I have a song. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise you could ever bring. Worthy of every breath you could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one you could ever say. Worthy of every breath you could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you.
Let's appreciate her again, again, and again. Hapo kwa wimbaji, check. The future is protected. Um, at this moment, we want to invite the speaker of today's word. Um, it is a dedicated and committed uh, what can I say, soldier in the army of the Lord. He is a teacher, one of our teachers in our kids' act, and this is none other than Minister David. Let's appreciate him as he comes forward and brings the word of the Lord. Children, let's appreciate teacher David. Good morning. If you are happy and you know, stand up. Yes. Now, let me say this. All of us, time has come. We are all in church school, not Sunday school. There's a difference between Sunday school and church school. Sunday school is school that is attended on Sunday. They are <laughs> now, children are with us for midterm. Next Sunday they will be in school. That is Sunday school. But we are in church school where we teach the word of God. Touch your head. Okay. Head, shoulder, knees, and toes. Goja, goja, goja. No. No. No, no. No. I want you to come to the level of a kid. Okay? I want you to come for, uh, to the level of a head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Knees and toes. <laughs> Some of you are saying eyes here. <laughs> okay, one more time. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, eyes. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, and you surely want to show. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know, and you surely want to show. If you're happy and you know, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know, shout hallelujah. If you're happy and you know, shout hallelujah. If you're happy and you know, and you surely want to show. If you're happy and you know, shout hallelujah. Let us pray. Mighty and everlasting Father, we are gathered this morning to worship your name and to glorify you. You have gathered us at your table to eat of your word. Thank you, God, because we are gathered as LFM family with our children, with a lesson and a purpose. Lest your purpose, your lesson, and your will be done. God, Feed us. Holy Spirit, take charge. Welcome the presence of God to be with us as we uplift your altar on high. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, this do we pray and believe. Amen. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is This is where my message is. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. If you want to grow, if you want to grow, read your Take your 
your seat. Good. Thank you for allowing God to make you and to remind you those days you're in Sunday school, in church school. Hallelujah. Good. That is actually how our service usually be. And before I move on, men, every father, you call it a blessing. I need more men in church school. I need more men in church school. I'm not ashamed to be the kids. It is fun and you enjoy. And more so you hear God. This is the only group that meets on Sunday. It has a service. We preach or we teach the word of God and we give offering. So it is a church. That's why I was saying church school. Go with me in Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. <clears throat> I'm going to read from the book uh, from NLT. The Bible says, the Lord, our God, has secrets known to no one. We are not accountable for them, comma, but we and our children are accountable forever for all that he has revealed to us so that we may obey all the terms of these instructions. Of these instructions. My topic, spiritual malnutrition, stroke, spiritual health. <laughs> stroke, spiritual health. Why the topic? It's all about our children and ourselves too. Children, when you came for my midterm, how many of us were taken out by their parents? Higher. How many of us were given a nice meal? Can I see with a show of hands? Good. Now, <laughs> we are well dressed from up here. You are smart. You are beautiful. You are handsome. We are healthy. Because you have really taken care of your body. Okay? We feed our body well. We clothe our body well. We care a lot about our body. And we too invest heavily on and for the body. Hapo atuwezi anguka. Hapo tuko sawa. Sindio? Sindio? Even the medics who are among us, they, they, they can say we are heavy. But I have a question that I want us to answer. The first question, do you really care the spirit man, about the spirit man, who is actually you. Why do I say so? Because you are two in one. You are actually two in one. You, ha you have you, the body, and you, the spirit man. The body is the house that we live in. And we care a lot about the house. We forget about the person who lives in that, in that house. Who is 
the tenant. Actually, you are a tenant. Though you are not paying rent, you are a tenant. Have you ever thought of that? Hello? Inaingia? Ama bado, bado, ama bado eja ingia? <laughs> you are actually a tenant. When somebody dies, we take the body, not the person, to the morgue. When you meet people when they are going for the burial, they say, we are meeting at the morgue to take or to correct the body, not the person. Actually, the house. The, the house. Because this is the only house that cannot be occupied by any other person. What do I mean? Ata kufanya hii huu mwili kazi hiyo yote mwisho wake ni kaburini. But what about the person who lived in that house? Can we think of that person? And that is why we gather every Sunday because of that person. Now you can see David. But you actually you can't see David. You are seeing the house David lives. Okay? Now, another question now that follows all those other questions, uh, that question, the main question was that, sub-questions. What does the spirit man feed on? What does the spirit man feed on? The spirit man feeds on the word of God. Go with me in Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 1 to 9. Deuteronomy. Now, this is all that we have been commanded to do. We as adults, we as parents to our children. The Bible says these are the commands. Decrees and regulations that the Lord your God commanded me to teach you. Commanded, not a request. Not optional. Commanded to teach you. And that is why we, the Sunday school teachers, we are commanded to teach these children we now have CBC, where now the teacher, the learner, and the parent are working together. Likewise, today, today, a request and also a command. We as Sunday school teachers, we request of you that we work together as we teach these children. I have been, how many, of these, uh, how many of you have been asked questions at home by these question, uh, children? That teacher David said, we ask you this question. One of the questions that made me laugh. Who was older between Jesus and Mary? How many of you answered that question? Who was older? Between Jesus and Mary. There was conflicting answers that I got. Yes, Jesus. But most parents said Mary. <laughs> the reason as to why we give homework and questions that they come at home with those questions is to enable you to read the Bible. We are using these kids to challenge you to read the Bible. <laughs> now, you must obey them in the land you are about to enter and occupy. And you and your children and grandchildren must, underline that, fear the Lord your God 
as long as you live. It's not a request. Must. Underline the word must. If you obey all these decrees and commands, you will enjoy a long life. This is the formula. God has given us the formula. Lakini tunataka madoido mingi, mambo mingi, inatushanganya. I always say, the word of God and the ways of God are simple. But man is complicated, hence complicates the word of God. Listen closely, Israel. Listen closely, LFM. And be careful to obey. Then all will go well with you. If there are things going, not going well with you, here's the answer. <laughs> then all will go well with you and you will have many children in the land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised you, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Listen, O Israel, listen, O LFM. The Lord is our God, the Lord alone. And you must, underline the word must, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must, why? And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I'm giving you today. Repeat them again and again. Repeat them again and again. Repeat them again and again. To your children. Who is going to feed our children or to give our children spiritual food? We don't expect the bishop to do all this. Lefred Emily to do all this. Pastor Guru and Mrs. Guru to do all this. The elders and the deacons and stewards to do this. Why did God give you that child? You have taken your child to a very nice school. You in have invested a lot on this child. On earthly things. What about spiritual things? Who is going to invest for them? Can all the children stand? All the children stand? Stand. Face the parents. Face the parents. Some to face this way, others that way. This way, that way. Repeat after me. Dear parents. Dear parents. Feed us the word of God. Again. Dear parents. Dear parents, feed us the word of God. Buy us Bibles, not digital Bible. Sit down. Repeat them again, again and again to your children. Say, talk about them when you are at home. What does it mean? Have fellowship. You know, most of us, prayers ni wakati shakula kiko kwa meza, sindiwe? Others, hit and learn prayers. Fire fighting prayers. Sindiwe? 
Amen. And your wife brings food on, tab on their table. Could you be one of those, those men who say, Nina, come out. Mama, come out. The food will go cold. Come and pray. My question, how comes that God can hear a woman's prayer concerning food and not a man? Do we have two gods? A God for women and for men? You are the priests in that home. In fact, the wife should consult you whether to pray because you are the reader. Why? Why did you tell David to come? This man is not good, by the way. He's fire. <laughs> Talk about them when you are at home and when you are on the Lord. On the Lord, meditating upon the word of God. Now, how will you be able to meditate upon the word of God if you don't read the word? We say in Kikuyu mode where we can carry it. How do we put it in English? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. You will not be able to meditate upon the word of God if you don't read the word of God. What you will meditate? Politics. Kenya Kwanza. Azimio. Jain Z. And actually, God is using Jain Z because Kenyans, we have slept. We don't pray. Yes. Don't condemn him. God used Nebuchadnezzar as his servant. Because the Israelites have, had forgotten God. Do you know even Satan, God can use him as a, his servant? Read the job. You know you people don't read the word. Yes. That situation you are in, so bad. Don't see the devil. Ask yourself, am I in line with God? Ah. When you are going to bed and when you are getting up, then uh, tie them on your hands and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Light them on the doorposts of your house and on the gates. Kwako kuna jurikana ni kwa mwakofi. If I come to your area, I'm asking, there's a man here, or a lady, I can't remember the name, but she, she's born again. He's born again. Can your locality identify you as a saved person? On your doorposts, on your house, on your gates. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. I tried to hurry up. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. What did God tell Joshua? Study this book of instruction. Sorry. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. <laughs> Only then will you succeed and prosper in all you do. 
I told you, man is complicated and he complicates everything. But God is simple. Meditate, read the word of God, and you will prosper. Because the answers of your prayer are here. Now, there are so many, many, many manutrated people spiritually because they don't lead the word of God. Outward, we are healthy. But inside, oi, kuashi ya kwa. Malasi mas. Oi. It's not me saying it. It's the Holy Spirit saying it. Not me. Kimoagi. Question number two. How does the spirit man feed? How does the spirit man feed? Reading the word of God, I have, as I have said, family fellowship, individual fellowship, having time with God. How do you go before God? Do you pray just when you have a need, a pressing need? Or do you have time just to meditate upon God? To worship God? To praise God? By reading the word of God. Question number three. Who feeds the spirit man? Who feeds the spirit man? God through the Holy Spirit, our helper, our revere, uh, by revealing his word. That is the, the word I began with in Deuteronomy 29, 29. He has revealed. That which he has revealed, we shall be accounted. He shall be accountable. For. Ezekiel chapter 3. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. The voice said to me, Son of man, eat what I, I am giving you. Eat this scroll. Then go and give this message to the people of Israel. Go and give this message, David, to the people of LFM. So I opened my mouth, that's why I'm standing here. And he fed me the scroll. Fill your stomach with this. Fill your stomach with this. What have you filled your stomach with? See, two boy, very apana, the spiritual. Stomach. What is there? Fill your stomach with this, he said. And when I ate it, oh my God, it tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth. There's nothing sweeter than the word of God. It tasted sweet. as honey in my mouth. Why are people afraid of reading the Bible? Can you lift up your Bible? Let me see your Bible. Not the phone. The Bible. Okay. Fine. That spells a lot. But uh, I thank God from today, things will change. The last question, number four. Who authorizes what should be fed to the spirit man? Who authorizes what to be fed to the spirit man? Who 
who authorizes? <laughs> I pose this question to you. Who authorizes? You know, when you're in Sunday school, we teach as you ask questions and children answer. We are in the level of children, remember? Who authorizes? Who authorizes? <laughs> Who authorizes? Oh my God. <laughs> Go to the book of Revelation 3.20. You see who authorizes. Revelation 3.20. Look! I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I'll come in and we will share a meal together as friends. So, it is not God who authorizes, it is you. You, 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 yourself. You have the authority to decide who comes in. You can shut God away and open for the devil. The choice is yours. You can decide it's only God who will occupy my heart, my soul. What does the Bible say? That I'll come and dine with you as friends. How many friends of God do I have here? Don't show your, don't raise your hand. Ask your question that ask yourself that question and don't answer. In conclusion, if you don't take your food as medicine, you will take medicine as food. Correct? Hello? Correct? Good. Now, likewise, if you don't lead the Bible as spiritual food, you will live as a puppet of the devil. <laughs> likewise, if you don't lead the Bible as food, that is spiritual food, you will live as a puppet of the devil. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Why do we need to read the, the, the Bible? Why? My second last scripture, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14. Then, we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown out by every weed of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to kick us, to trick us with the lies so clever they sound like the truth. Everything you hear, Everything you see, always confirm with the word of God. If it cannot be confirmed by the word of God, or in the word of God, Mark says, and these signs will follow and these signs will follow. Do you know why people for, uh, go after signs? Spiritual malnutrition. They don't know the word of God. You should not go learning after miracles. Miracles actually should follow you. Remember Peter? When he was move, walking, his shadow would heal people. 
Hata hakuwa najua, alikuwa naambiwa, au unajua umepita hapo na huyo mama amekuwa amepokea uponyaji. Why are people toast and blown out about? Toast to and fro? Because they don't know the word of God. Last week, and uh, last week but one, from last week but one, when our youth went the streets, those two weeks, just ask yourself, if Jesus came those two, in, in, in course of those two weeks, how many of us would go to heaven? What, what was in your heart? What was in your mind? Jaisin. Yes. Jaisin. Some are condemning. Some are supporting. What about the word of God? We go to the court to a candle. That is what we do. Luke chapter 4. Verse 1 to 12. I'm not going to read. It's about Jesus. When he was taken to the wilderness, and the devil tempt, uh, was testing him, he countered the devil with the word, it is written. It is written. How many times do you say it is written when you get challenged in life? How many times? One time, as I, as I end, we used to go for interdenominational uh, fellowship, morning devotion, a P PAG. We used to meet with Elder Wahome there those many years. He's my old friend. <laughs> and uh, there was one time a certain girl who was doing a photocopying business. In fact, she was employed. That time there was a school. Today it's called Moroine Boys, but it, that time it was <laughs> Kia Goma, <laughs> the devil. Uh -huh. One teacher came to do a photocopy of a certain document. And that teacher made sure he went to a, a photocopy shop where there are no people. And the document, when this girl took the document, of course, it was written, message from the Lucifer. I read it, and I don't know where that copy went. <laughs> Message from the Lucifer. So, what did she, th this girl do? Aka copy kwa machine, aka toa. And this man made sure any other document that was not good, alibeba. Ikularua alibeba. So, after some hours, the girl now did, printed the, the copy, and she read. She was saved, and she gave to a certain pastor. And that time, we are going to Skuta for a Kesha, interdenominational Kesha, prayer only. And I remember the pastor telling us, you know, if you know you are not bold enough in spirit, don't dare take this document. This is spiritual warfare. And this is what I'm going to tell you. And that is what is, has been happening for many years since I read that. 